Okay, we are back with board certified dermatologist, Dr. Sherry Ingraham. All right, and you can see all of the fruits and vegetables on our set now. So vitamin C, we think about vitamin C, doctor, as an immunity booster, but you say it also can help our skin. Right, you know, we've for years said, okay, it'll prevent a cold. Now we know it may even lower your blood pressure, but really the beauty is what it does for beauty. It's incredible for your skin. It's a building block of collagen, but also it helps to fade brown spots. It helps to stimulate new collagen, fine lines and wrinkles and is a huge brightener for the skin. So huh. I'm a fan of using this in my skincare products, but we have fruits and vegetables out here. You say eating it is going to help yes. you as well. You want to do both. Obviously, vitamin C helps your blood vessels. It helps internal structures as well. It's a very important antioxidant our bodies cannot make. And people think, well, I have to eat only citrus fruit. What they don't realize is a cup of strawberries has as much vitamin C as an orange. Getting a lemon, squeezing it into every drink is incredibly helpful. If you drink green tea, the mm -hmm. polyphenols, the EGCG you want out of that, much more intensively absorbed if you squeeze lemon in it when you drink You're it. You're kidding. I you need love it. Coming. Broccoli, full of vitamin C, and kiwi is incredible. Kiwi is packed with vitamin C, and there's actually data coming out showing how much it helps general health in men, they did a study. Broccoli, Wonderful. vitamin C, and protein, as we learned yes, last week's and show. Yes, great antioxidant. Broccoli so but what I help. tell people is, when you eat it, you're really nurturing your body, but the skin is the furthest leaf on the tree, right? The right. skin gets it last. So if you can apply it directly on the skin as well, you're really gonna help yourself. Well, let's talk about some of these products here. I think this sure. is one that I'm familiar with. I think I use this one. This is just a topical, pure like vitamin pure C. Pure L-ascorbic acid. And really those are the most important things you wanna know when you're looking for vitamin C in a product. Most over-the-counter products, vitamin C is a preservative. So it'll say vitamin C in the label, but it's actually not actively absorbed in the skin and bioactive in the skin once it's absorbed. You want it to be pure L-ascorbic acid, which is what SkinCeuticals really patented in their products. You want it to be in a serum form at an acidic pH so it's absorbed, and it needs to be in the right percentage, which is 10 to 20%. Most products over-the-counter don't have that. So you really need to look for a serum with those three things. And that's why I'm a huge fan of CE Ferulic, this specific product, because you can put it on every morning. Men, I have found, will use this product. You want to always go thinnest to thickest. So when you wake up in the morning, before you put your sunscreen on, you want to realize that sunscreen doesn't block everything, mm -hmm. right? It doesn't block free radical damage to the degree we need it. What vitamin C does is it sops up free radicals, which are coming from pollution and the sun. And they're wreaking havoc in our skin and so it kind of what I say sops up these ping pong balls and is an environmental shield so you want to put this on first thing and then put your sunscreen on top in the morning okay and using that though is also a good sprightener and does it even out the skin tone as well? It can. It okay. can brighten you. It can help dull spots fade. It can brighten you. It can stimulate new collagen, but it also protects from DNA damage. Ooh. It can also protect from some of the damage that the environment is basically doing every day when we step outside. So there's intrinsic aging it helps with as well as extrinsic aging. So the new thought is really that environmental shield against not only UVA and UVB, but pollution and ozone as well. Okay. And just to confirm that I understand, you said from thinnest to thickest. You mean just like the, the lotions, uh, the, the lotions. products. Yes, yeah. yeah. so you always want to do a serum first, and then you want to put on your lotion, and then you want to put on your powder. Because people today have so many products, and I always say lots keep of it steps. Simple. <laughs> keep it simple, but always thinnest to thickest. And this is your. I always call it liquid gold. This is your powerhouse. You want to absorb that first. You want that to be the first thing that goes on your skin. And that's day and night? Day and okay. night. Now, if you're like most of my patients and you can only get it on once, do it in the morning as part of your environmental shield. But if you can do it at night under your evening product, perhaps use a retinoid or a nice barrier product, do it in the evening as well. Okay. And what is this one? This is another product I love. These are real greens in a little capsule. It's a, almost like a little dissolvable pellet. And I tell people, drink this once a day. It's really a day's worth of greens. It's kale compressed. It's oranges. Huge amounts of vitamin B, vitamin C, and they're fizzy and taste great. I tried to get my kids to drink them, and we're not there yet, but okay. I drink them every day. <laughs> I appreciate the But honesty. you can get these at Nordstrom as well as online. Whole Foods has their own brand, but these are a great way to sneak. If you don't like eating all these fruits and vegetables, I always say people ask me, should I juice? Should I do this? Raw is always best for most things, okay? And then whole foods are always best. But we can't always get that into our busy right. lives. So then if you have to juice or you have to take a little pellet in water, do that next. But raw is always best. And they really do taste good? I love them. I'll leave you with some. I like them. It, you know, it's an acquired taste sometimes. But you know what? If you don't like drinking a kale shot, which some people don't, this is a kale shot that tastes like lemonade.
Okay, well, we'll try anything no here. And also, I know the uh, the vitamin C fruits and vegetables that you pointed out earlier. These are maybe the more obvious choices, but even things like tomatoes and potatoes. Contain yes, potatoes, high tomatoes, and you know peppers are a great source. Like sweet red peppers are awesome. Green peppers. It's those colorful foods. So you're looking for brightly hued, brightly colored foods because that's what protects those foods from the environment, and that's what protects you from the environment too. Those bright colors, all of those healthy vitamins are infused in there. But remember, people ask me all the time, you know, what about a grapefruit versus an orange? Eat what you love. Right. You know, find something you like and do it every day. So if you can give your kid one of those cute little clementines and yeah. have them peel it and eat it every day in their lunch, that's a great way. Supplements. People ask me a lot about vitamin C supplements. Again, try and eat it whole. But if you want to take vitamin C supplements, do it. Don't take more than 2,000 milligrams a day. Right. If you smoke, if you have health problems, always take a little bit more than the average person. But more than 2,000 milligrams a day can cause a little GI upset. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Ingerham. I've got my C hat on for protection. We'll be right back. It's great to see you. Yeah. You always have such great information. Thank you. Thank you.